Hello, LGBTQ community. That's a TikTok joke, sorry. Ow! Ooh, I just pulled my groin. Hello darlings, it's Tess. Today begins a very exciting video for you. It is currently Friday and um, as you can see, I'm still down in Hobart. And today my family is going to be going on a trip up to another city here in Hobart. Bro, you mean another city in Tasmania? Hobart is a city, Tasmania is the state. Called Launceston because my sister and I are involved in a poetry slam event that's going to be taking place there so we're going for the weekend for the slam but we're also going to be doing a few other fun things while we're there so of course I'm going to take you along to see what we get up to just to get a close-up of this necklace for a second I'm definitely taking this one of the kiddos that I taught an art class to this year actually gave it to me so obviously it's very very dear to me and I love a nice colorful simple not too fancy necklace that I can just throw on I'm going up the country babe don't you want to go I'm going up the country babe don't you want to go I'll take you to some place I've never been before when I'm going where the water tastes like wine I'm going where the water tastes like wine We can jump in the water, stay drunk all the time Don't leave this city, got to get away Don't leave this city, got to get away I'll just bust in a fight, and then you know I should sure can't stay. The baby back to leave a drunk, you know you've got to sleep today. But just exactly where we're going against the same fight. We might even leave the USA. This is a brand new game that I just want to be playing. I know you used to be running, all screaming and crying. I guess you've got a whole name. When I've got mine. Good morning, dogs, cats, and aliens. Good morning, dogs, cats, and aliens. It is now Saturday, which is our main day here. Um, when we got in um, in the car last night, I didn't show you much around the house because me and dad were focusing on getting dinner ready. We had pizzas, as you guys saw. <laughs> um, this is my room. It's designed to be a room for multiple kids, so it's actually got like three beds in it. Tess, those are four beds. What is wrong with you? But I decided to come in here because there's a TV in here, basically. I didn't use it last night, but I thought I would um, come in here anyway. I've been awake since about 7.30 this morning. It's now just past nine. And I've been um, doing some editing work over here. I don't know how or why this happened, you guys, but I've inexplicably turned into a person who now wakes up early. It's kind of terrifying, but I'm going to go for a bit of a walk outside. I can hear the birds chirping and even some frogs as well. So let's go for a walk. And then um, I'm not sure what my family's um, going to do today. There are some nice things to do here in Launceston, but no matter what we do, I'll definitely take you along. But for now, let's Let's go for a walk.
That's how you do it. believe what happened as I was finishing up my poem. Here it is. Try giving it a name. My psychiatrist smiles at me as we pinpoint the self-hating voice in my head every minute, fruit of the mental illness that runs in my family and practically gallops. As I said when I first met her, after hello, what's your name? It's Ruth. How nice. Now there must be another name in the room with us. Sometimes giving it a silly name helps you laugh at it and reject what it says. I hear an exorcist speak to cast out the demon with its name. A name for the voice that actually heals where it cusps, so it can say, I was never here despite the sting. So you're a coward for crying, for needing help, for naming me. My friend calls his voice Karen. <laughs> Ignoring her is like Avon knocking at the door. Hello, our self-destruction is half off stock up for summer. <laughs> My voice feels too heavy for that. I speak to it like Greta Thunberg does to the leaders who don't lead. You have stolen my dreams and my youth with your empty words. <laughs> How dare you? So, demon dream stealer, what is your name? Donald? <laughs> Boris? <laughs> Vladimir? <laughs> what name for the terror of catching a bus? Because you will be looked at, be real to others. The sexual trauma that still haunts ordinary words. My paralyzing fear of being toxic to others. Of my self-poisoning escaping the valve of my mouth when I scream like the open Chernobyl call. What name? Sometimes I sing songs to you, Dream Stealer. You don't know me. <laughs> don't stop me now. <laughs> I will kill you with kindness and paint with your blood. My best friend lay dying in hospital and I literally charge my wand in her palm. My heart overflows like my room full of treasures, more notice at every passing moment. Yes, that hat lights up. I yank joy and magic up from my Doc Martin bootstraps and fling them to the sky to meet the moon. So here we are, Dream Sealer, before a room of warm bodies, 26 years in our cold hands. I have snatched them all from you for a decade, from first diagnosis to last drink at graduation. And the Dream Sealer, dear humans, what is its name? Mine is Tess. What's yes, yours? That's enough. Emily Dickinson wrote, Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul, you know that thing being its wings and the heart and pressing down on the lung, that thing that sings like water and sun to seedlings. Hope is a thing with feathers like Icarus, arms bound by his father in feathers. He made Icarus wings with wax and leather and now Icarus flees from no chance of a plea of not guilty away from the spitting sea. Icarus flies higher and higher. He rises and doesn't heed his father's cry. Maybe, maybe he can't hear anything of that thing that sings like drowning storms and sunburn. Icarus falls and now his father isn't crying. Just watching the feathers stream, the wax dripping, Icarus sinks, and his father flies on. Hope 
is a thing with feathers like the story of Icarus, you know. The story told the children to warn us to listen to our elders, stay on the path they said as we crash and burn on the wings they made us. Funny thing is, I'm already burning. Funny thing is, I have learned my lesson. Hope is a thing with feathers and my arms are bound in them. These are the ones handed to me to remind me to fly. These are the ones scavenged from shore and sky. These are the ones we have sung into existence. And the funny thing is, I don't sing for them. I cry out with you, don't let me drown you out with these new and improved models. There's no need for drowning anymore. So come talk to me. Let's exchange feathers. Let's remind each other we can fly. Regardless of how cinched our wings, let's remind each other of that thing with feathers, you know, hope. Hey guys, it is now Sunday morning. I didn't get any footage after we got home last night because it was really, really late and I also had a really bad headache, so I just wanted to go straight to bed and take some Panadol. Last night was bananas. I did my poem and right at the very last second, this guy who'd had too much to drink actually heckled me. Hopefully the video caught it. Um, so I transformed this hand that I was holding out just into I'm a savage in that guy's direction and everybody lost it. Um, and then what I will say is that the people who were sitting at the same table as that guy actually apologized to me for him. They're not like responsible for him being an idiot. And so that was just like, that was bad. I felt really horrible for them. And then I had a bunch of like other people who weren't with him come up and be like, oh my God, I wanted to strangle that guy. And I was like, okay, right. <laughs> so we were all kind of united against him, which was pretty funny. <laughs> And then what was crazy was that there was a trivia quiz that was happening that had general questions about poetry, like, you know, who wrote Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night? And then really specific ones to this poetry scene, like, you know, who won Tasmanian Slam Poetry last year, stuff like that. And so pretty much the only people that are gonna get it right are people who've been in the scene for years. And so my um, stepmom and my sister were the two that got it right. So they got some like, wine and like something else as like rewards for winning the trivia competition and then there was also a raffle and we freaking won the raffle as well Yoink. and the raffle is drawn completely randomly like what are the chances of us winning both of them it was a complete meme Yoink. so we had all of these prizes that we had to carry home Fuck it, Nick, I think I'll keep it. Like fancy cheese and wine and stuff. Um, but there was also randomly a toy Tasmanian devil and a toy car in one of our boxes. So um, my dad gave the Tasmanian devil for, to me. So I don't know what name I'm gonna give him, but um, I've got a new little friend now. So <laughs> that's good. I guess Daenerys, my dragon can have a little devil friend <laughs> on the way home. Um, but anyway, that was really fun. And so this morning now um, it's Sunday and we're actually planning to go to a high ropes course place today. Like, you know, those ones where, you know, you're clipped up into a harness and there are ladders in between trees and like ropes and other obstacles and you have to try and go across. We're gonna do that. And I haven't done that since I was like high school, I think. So that's gonna be really, really fun. I don't know what type of footage I'm going to be able to get. Like, is there gonna be someone on the ground that I can give it to, I don't know, but um, I'll definitely tell you about it, whether or not I can get any footage. But this has been a really good weekend, even if I did have my headache last night. And so let's finish it up by having some fun in the trees. <laughs> Thank you. 